Warning, the video you are about to see is the many emotions that a Tennessee fan experiences while watching a Derek Dooley coached Tennessee football team. Abrasive language is used. You have got to be kidding me. There is well over 700 yards of total offense at halftime of Tennessee versus Troy. Now I joked in my video this week saying that this would probably be one of those 67 to 66 overtime games. It may be 67 to 66 in regulation. Tyler Bray visibly pissed off at Derek Dooley's decision to kick a field goal at the end of the first half instead of going for, going for it. This is the kind of thing that have Tennessee fans wondering if these players even want to play for Dooley. Microcosm of this season. At one point, Troy outscored us 30 to six. Troy! You know, I'm going to propose a damn change at Tennessee. I say from now on, at least through the rest of this fucking year, we ought to make our defense, with Sal Sinceri leading the way, stand on the sidelines for the vol walk. Every other fucking offense in America is walking through that defense. Might as well let our offense have a turn at it. Fucking pathetic. Dooley made this hire. Dooley made this fucking hire. Did people not see, did all the Dooley supporters not see right then what a bonehead move it is to hire a guy that's going to make a complete and total schematic philosophy change? Since Derek, Le since Dooley loves the word schematics and philosophy so much. Derek Dooley, I'm sorry, but good riddance. Fucking Tiny Richardson shouldn't even be in this damn game with five minutes left to go. We should be up by 40 points right now against some chumps like Troy. Fire everybody on this fucking staff except for Jay Graham and Sam Pittman. I think I can get an ill yell from all my other Tennessee fans on that one. This is ridiculous. Get the fuck out of Knoxville! Are you fucking kidding me, Derek Dooley? This defense is garbage. Nice hire, Derek Dooley. Good hire. If there's one Tennessee fan left on this planet supporting Derek Dooley, you're a f How can anybody support this clown anymore? Of course the two-point conversion's good. We're gonna fucking lose to Troy! Are you kidding me? Fire his ass immediately. Disgraceful. Nearly 700 yards. 700 yards of fucking offense. God damn it. I'm sure Derek Dooley will have comments in the post game if we hold on and win this game about what a, a great effort that was and how this team showed a never say die attitude and no quit and we hung in there and battled till the end. If he says that shit, I'm going to puke my big orange guts out. And Coach Dooley now has, has joined us. Coach, congratulations on a big win on homecoming. Uh, certainly. Uh, never been a part of something like that, 1,400 yards. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the team found a way to win. They grinded one out. You know, we did something we haven't done, and, and Tyler did something he hasn't done. You know, he's always, everybody talks about winning a game at the end, and he took us on two scoring drives uh, and got it done. It's a football. Coach, talk about the importance of this win now as you set up this month in November. Well, our objective today was go 1-0. and And we did it. And it doesn't matter how you got it. And our objective next week is to go 1-0. and And so any way we can just find a way to win, that's what it's all about right now. You know, it doesn't look pretty. Uh, we certainly 
uh, don't look anything like what Tennessee's used to seeing. On uh, but at the end of the day, we just have to figure out a way to find a way and win a game. Coach, congratulations to you and the players and the coaching staff for getting a win today on homecoming.